हेलो फ्रेंड्स सतीश तिवारी हियर फ्रॉम मिथिकल हैकिंग ट्यूशन सेंटर जयपुर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ इजीली यू कैन डाउनलोड एंड इंस्टॉल जीएनएस एन थ्री इन साइड योर विंडोज मशीन और मैकबुक और लिनक्स ओके सो यू हैव जस्ट हैव टू गो टू जी एन एस थ्री डॉट कॉम सॉफ्टवेयर सेक्शन डाउनलोड एंड दिस लिंक यू कैन सी द एब लिंक एंड फ्रॉम देयर यू कैन इजिली डाउनलोड एंड इंस्टॉल जी एन एस थ्री फॉर विंडोज लाइन एक्स और मैक इन साइड योर सिस्टम आई एम गोइंग टू डाउनलोड फॉर विंडोज सो आई जस्ट क्लिक ऑन डाउनलोड एंड इट विल बी डाउनलोडेड यू कैन सी इट्स आस्किंग द पाथ टू डाउनलोड यस आई एम गिविंग द डिफॉल्ट पाथ क्लिक ऑन सेव एंड डन सो इट्स गिविंग यू मैसेज थैंक यू एंड द फाइल हैज बिन डाउनलोडेड यू कैन गो टू डाउनलोड सेक्शन हियर यू जस्ट डबल क्लिक हियर एंड इंस्टॉल इट Remember, you have to log in with your Gmail ID or whatever ID you have. You have to sign in to this website. Now, I am going to download and install the latest one. So, I just have downloaded, and then click on install anyway. Yes. Click on next. Click on I agree. Then click on next. Then here you can see it's asking, do you want to install GNS3 BM? If you want to GNS3 BM, then you have to select this option. Okay, GNS3 Web Client. If you want GNS3 Web Client, you have to select this option. If you don't want anything, just uncheck it. Okay, so just, I just uh, right now I don't want GNS3 VM, so I just click on Next, Next. If you want to download and install GNS3 VM, that is also available here. You can see. For optimal performance, make sure to also download GNS3 VM. So GNS3 VM is also available here. You just click on download the GNS3 VM, and it will be downloaded. And then you can set up in your virtual machine. Now the downloading is going on. It's downloading the Wireshark tool and all the necessary tool which is required for this GNS3 to run. Then click on next, completed. It's asking you, do you want uh, SolarWinds standard tool set? No, I don't want this. Click on next. Start GNS3. Click on finish, and the GNS3 will start. Let's wait. So this you can see here GNS3. Just click on it, and you can see. Just click on Run Applications in a virtual machine. If you want any applications in a virtual machine, you can go with this one. Requires to download and install GNS3 VM available for free. It means if you want to run any appliance in a virtual machine, you need to run this one. Install GNS3 VM. So you just need to go to this site and click on Download the GNS3 VM. And I want download uh, that for virtual box. So I want GNS3 VM for virtual box. If you are using VMA, then you can use this one, second one. I am using VirtualBox. So I will download it for VirtualBox. Downloading started. The size of this latest GNS3 VirtualBox zip file is 842 MB. Okay, so you have to download and then we will install it. So I am waiting for the download. Then run applications on my local computer like Cisco ISO router. That will be a limited number of applications like the Cisco ISO router can be run. So if you use the second option only, you will be able to run the ISO routers image on your system. The third one is run applications on a remote server. Advanced usage. This server will be a remote computer and can be shared with multiple users. Okay, so run applications on a remote server. For advanced use, and this server will be a remote on a remote computer and can be shared with multiple users. 
so if you want this one but i will suggest you go with the first one okay the file has been downloaded you can see the zip file is here okay and inside the zip file there is a vm file so i will extract this file and once i extract this file i will take this vm vm file out of this virtual machine okay so i will take this vm file out from here cut and okay uh, i will paste it here suppose okay genesis vm here i will just double click on it okay then click on finish and it will set up importing appliances so you can see it's importing the appliances so by default for 2 gb ram is allotted if you want to allot more ram you can change the value from here like you can go here and you can see in valid setting what is the invalid setting virtual machine is currently assigned to less than 9 mb of video memory okay no problem i will change this so go to this one by default 8 MB just give them more video memory okay so I am given more video memory and go to system and I am giving more RAM like I can giving 6 GB RAM okay okay now done with this one now close this close this you can close this also if you want but minimizing right now now you can select the first option and click on this one okay next next so vmware vm run tool cannot be found on vmware vax api required for the vmware okay no problem virtual box we are using virtual box not vmware okay gns3 vm found virtual cpu core it's asking how many cores you want to allot let me allot it to ram size how i want to allot at least 4 gb click on next so you have to wait it's running I'm not skipping anything and you too don't skip anything because I want to create video from scratch so that you guys have no doubts if any error coming you can see the error also so I have error then you have error also okay now you can see everything done and click on finish okay and in this way you can see this is the IP address of machine my gns3 bm machine 192.168.56.102 which is working on port 80 but if you want to ssh you can use gns3 at the rate 192.168.56.102 and the password is gns3 if you want to launch the in the web server website you can just open the browser and you can type this ip address http 192.168.56.102 like let me test it 192.168.56.102 okay so you can see you can see the this is gns3 server and you can see go to system status you can see how much memory and cpu usage doing on going on so you can see everything here if you want to import any project you can also import any project from here okay so in this way you can open this one now the installation of gns3 and gns3 bm both completed okay both successfully completed now if you want to import gns3 uh, appliances inside this like open switch you can do that also inside using this one so let's go to preference 
and you can see so many options here like gns3 bm gns3 built-in captures and all these options are all these options like if you want to add virtual machines you can also add virtual machines like kali linux for cyber security and advanced ethical hacking and data monitoring lab setup penetration testing lab setup you can use this one you can see here ios router you can add it you can add it so many things here but the most important is what you want we want appliance so let's go to file and you can see here import appliance you have to find out the appliance file so i have the appliance file on my desktop inside gns3 ios here i have open vpn switch appliance file click on open okay install the appliance on the gns3 vm recommended okay next use by default interface as uh, the br okay finish the appliance has been installed and template named open v switch has been successfully created okay now done so here in this lab when we create a project you will find a open v switch okay open v switch which will be very helpful in the upcoming project so gns3 gns3 bm and open v switch appliance i have shown you how you can set up in gns3 okay so thank you thank you for watching in the next video i will show you the advanced configuration because this video is too already too long i don't want to increase this video size more okay and you can download open v switch from gns3 website appliances file that is available and if you don't get it you can ask me through the comment section i will share you the file thank you thank you for watching and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe.